everybody, it's Brandy at Plus Size and Polka Dots, and I am coming to you tonight with another try on haul from Eloquie. So, Eloquie is an online boutique that I heard about on Instagram and YouTube um, for plus size women, and um, they're a little bit more expensive than what you would find at like Charlotte Russe. But I did get a couple of dresses. They had a um, spend 100 get 50 off. And so I wanted to film this real quick um, because it's I've had this package for at least a week or two. So I know that it's hitting its 30 days. So I need to try on. And I did not want to try on without you guys seeing because, um, as you know, my mission at Plus Size and Polka Dots is just to share opportunities of plus size clothing with the regular woman. Um, I grew up just buying whatever fit and I never really felt truly comfortable in my clothing. I was always trying to keep up with the fad but in my size I just couldn't and so now that um, the fashion industry has really accepted us I am um, on a mission to just spread a little bit of uh, plus size clothing availability to other women on YouTube. So guys, if you like what you see or you want to join in on the conversation or maybe you know tons more about plus size fashion, subscribe, comment below, get to know me on my Instagram, plus size and polka dots, and um, let's collab. Let's get together. Let's have a combo. So anyway, um, here we go. I've got my Eloquy, um here we go. My Eloquie bag with me here, and let's get to opening it. To be honest, I'm not even 100% sure I remember what I bought. Let's see, wow. Look at this. I think I remember this. So this is a blue and white plaid skirt. Let me see. I don't like to tear the plastic for some reason. So, you never know what you're going to keep in this. And um, get that. Ooh, it's a really soft material. Oh yes, it's pleated. Oh, it's a full skirt. It's got a little bit of um, elastic in the back. I got this in a size 24. Pretty. I'm excited to try it on. Oh, plaid is so in right now, and I've been seeing all these really cute skinny girls on their Instagram and their black plaid. So I've been on a mission to hunt down that black plaid and plus size clothes. Um, the other mission is just how to be affordable. So now you know me. If it's got <laughs> polka dots, I'm in. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this material is so soft. This is a little different. This is um, it's totally polyester, but look at that. So here's the top and the skirt. That's going to be really fun. I'm excited to try that on. Interesting. Okay. Um, I remember this top. I really like Eloquie's style. They had a lot of, um, I kind of like the classic look. And Eloquie had a lot of that available in their online shop. You know, um, for school. Just look at that. I love the collars. There's a little open spot back here too. It's like another kind of polyester. Oh, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about the back. It does seem like a shorter back. I don't know. I have a thing about tie arounds. They just sometimes on my body shape make me look pregnant. So I don't know. We'll see. You guys will get to see too. Their boss is talking. Ooh, I love the feel of this. Oh, yes, I remember. Look at the collar and then that detail. And it's a blue collar. I love it. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and try these on for you, and then I'll be back. 
Okay. polka dot and if you saw it had um, the white piece in the front and the zipper on there and the whole zipper kind of contraption was kind of heavy and if you unzipped it nothing really happened and um, there was just more fabric there and so it just kind of was extra weight which I didn't really like in the chest area. Um, it was also kind of a all polyester uh, feel to it and I just didn't like the way that it felt um, or the way that it kind of looked um, on my body. I could see some of the humps in my back and things like that and I just prefer not to show those kinds of things um, if I'm paying you know more than $50 for a dress. So if I'm paying a little bit more and I'm getting a good deal then I'm more likely to kind of adapt to how it looks but um, for the price at Eloquy, um, no, I just wasn't willing to. On the really pretty print for the blue and white and black piece with the white collar, I loved the piece. The only thing I didn't like was that the ties in the back. And although I do know that sometimes that helps um, full-figured women, to me and I guess I just had an experience in the past where people say it looks like a pregnancy shirt and so I just don't prefer to wear shirts that have the tie in the back. Um, you know that is the nice thing about plus size clothing right now is you, we do have um, some good options out there so when I find pieces that um, they're a good price it was $34.99 but I um, just prefer not to have the tie and so luckily um, you know my closet is not bare without that shirt I did really like it and I did kind of take a picture of it in case I change my mind later and can reorder but for time being um, it just wasn't the shirt for me now I did find out um, and I'm not sure if you sorry about that um, I did find out that the shirt that I really liked, the blue and white, light blue and white with a white collar and it had lace fringe at the end, I did see that that was a size 16. So they sent me the wrong size, so I put in for an exchange for that. Um, I am returning the dress and the other, the tie top, but um, 
I did put in an exchange for that. So they sent the wrong size. I feel a little bit better um, knowing it was a 16 because I'm not a 16. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll get um, word from that return or exchange soon. I did decide to keep the blue plaid skirt. Honestly, I don't like the way that it looked on my body, although I think I kept the camera kind of low, and so the angles this try on were kind of mm, not very good. But um, I did decide to keep this. I just like that I can pair it with kind of a navy top, uh, the white dress shirt, um, and then I can kind of have fun with it later in the year. I don't know. I love this plaid. Today I actually bought um, a blue plaid um, there's a $12 blue plaid uh, zipper pouch slash purse at Charm and Charlie, so you should check it out. It's got red trim. So I even thought for July I could kind of pair this with a red top and I have kind of a red cardigan. So I don't know. I thought it'd be really fun. Um, again, I'm addicted to plaid. Polka dots, plaid, all sorts of things and fashion that I love. Um, kind of that simple, fun classic look, I guess. Anyway, so, um, all right, let's talk about Eloquy for a minute. So Eloquy, to me, kind of reminds me of Lane Bryant. Their pieces aren't necessarily everything I want them to be for the price that they're asking. Um, the, in my opinion, the pictures that they put on their website are beautiful. The, you know, the models that they kind of use, none of the clothes kind of fit that well on me but um gosh I you know it is what it is the one thing that I'm going to say Eloquy you charge a lot for your clothes and to have us pay $6.99 for returns is not um ideal so that will definitely keep me from kind of ordering again unless I see something I love and they have a great special um, which almost needs to be kind of a clearance because the prices, you know, they're about $100 a dress regular price. So I was kind of disappointed to see with Eloquy that you have to pay $7 um, off your return to mail back the clothes that you don't like. I understand that postage is expensive, I get that, but if the product that you're selling isn't to the par it should be, I think it should be free returns. I do free returns in my business, um, the 31 does free returns, so I just, it's just one of those things, maybe they'll come around soon, um, maybe they're just starting their company, can't afford that yet, but with so many companies right now who offer free returns, I just think that maybe all should get on the bandwagon. So that was my haul with Eloquy. Um, I had seen them a lot on Instagram and on other YouTube accounts, so I wanted to give them a try. Um, <sighs> will I return as a customer? That's a really great question. I think I might. A lot of their website has really cute pictures of clothes. There were a lot of clothes that I didn't pick because I just couldn't afford them all. I think my um, cart was up to $700, <laughs> and then I kind of had to work back from there. And that's usually what I do when I online shop. I will add everything that I might ever want. So that's what how I online shop. Um, I add everything in my cart um, that I might ever want. And then when I'm done, I kind of look at what I have. And, and at that point, kind of, you know, start cutting the ones that, you know, I usually will have five black and white polka dot dresses. And I'll kind of pick the one that um, I like the most and things like that. So Eloquy definitely has a good selection. Um, I just, for the price, it's kind of lame, like Lane Bryant. Um, the fits are just different for, um, you know, different body types. So um, I'll, when you order, you know, as in most places, you get put on their email list. So I'll continue to look when they have big sales. But... Um, am I rushing to make another order like Charlotte Roos or Dia Inco? Um, I'm not, but um, you know what? It's a fashion world. We're just living in it day by day. So there's my Eloquy haul. I hope that helped. Um, if you have any other suggestions of place to try, just comment below. 
Um, always good for new suggestions for clothing companies to find. And I'll continue to look on YouTube and Instagram and um, do some of the work for y'all. So like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, find me at plus size and polka dots on Instagram. It's, um, yeah, it's really fun. So um, see y'all next time.